predict which one of these teams gets to play in the Final Four and which team will pay to watch from the stands. It all comes down to this game between the Virginia Cavaliers and the Xavier Musketeers. Both teams need to forget about the wild crowd here and play basketball. The Musketeers are looking to make this one a blowout early. What are the keys for them tonight, Dick? Yeah, a night like this, the keys are pretty simple, Brad. First, set good interior screens to free up your big men on the block. Look to the inside first. Secondly, beware of turnovers. Protect the basketball. You want to minimize the amount of free possessions that you give to the opposition. Lastly, play as a five-man unit defensively. Have rhythm. Be ready to rotate. Help one another on penetration. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action. See what's in store for us. Both teams looking to get things going here. Number 44 with the ball. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. High post flashes. Goes up for two. In and out. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. Tries for two. You are being used as a launching pad. They work the perimeter. The power forward takes the feed. And the ball goes out of play. Inside. Entry pass in the paint. He looks at the hoop. Number one with the fake. Jump hook from the low block. Doesn't go. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. He fakes the shot from left of the circle. Oh, yes. High post flashes for the opportunity. Number four takes the pass for the bucket. Perfectly executed. We got to roll that one back. Fed the low block. Fakes it. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. And they come with a double team to stop it. Get that sucker out of the game, man. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Number 21 gets the pass. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. The post flashes up high if he wants it. Well, the defense blocked. Nice job defensively. Pushes it up. The ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover day. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. He's a three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Tries for two. I love this guy, Hook. He cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brown, why don't more guys use him? High post flashes for the ball handler. Number 34 gets the ball. It would be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. Right now, it's a one-man show. The other players need to step up. Got to take some flight on a defensive end. Number 24 grabs it. He'll regroup the offense. Inside. The Musketeers have a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. It looks as though they have a shooter spotting up. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Here's a flash from the high post. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. 
The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover then. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Shows patience, waiting for the reset. Here's a double team. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Had a momentary look from three-point land. Perfectly executed. Trying to pack it inside. Turns it over. Number 34 is fired up right now emotionally. I love seeing players play with emotion and passion. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Check this one out. There's the trap. Off the rim and no good. Take a look right here. Nobody steps into the driving lane. He allows them to get the crease, the lane, the angle. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Dickey still applying great pressure on the dribbler. Control of the ball. And he missed. Basket falls despite the contact. Time to pick up the defense here now. Jumps in, and he scores despite the hack. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. And in and out. With a bucket. Can't get the shot to go. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. He gets the bucket. They work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Shoots. The Cavaliers have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. He keeps the dribble as they reset. And he'll kick it back outside. Double team now, bad angle. He shoots from the elbow. Way off target. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Great anticipation defensively. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. Oh, he's got to knock those down. Great screen, but no go. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He puts it in with contact and all. Mm -hmm. 
pull-up jumper from way out, drains the shot. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, how about this crowd? They're enjoying this close matchup, and there's nothing better than a close game during tournament time. Makes it. Third one is good. On the outside. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented boards like they have. Yeah, that helps. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Side. The power forward in the paint. Looking for the foul. Goes up for two. They still don't score. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. They come with a double team to stop it. Stolen. They'll work it around the arc. On the dribble, gives it up. Number 21 is pounded on his way up. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Number 21 goes to the line, shooting two. Makes the first. Both free throws go. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. There's a double team waiting there. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Both teams looking to get things going here. Here's a double team. Perfectly executed. On the outside. Right at the circle, off the rim, and no good. Look at that spacing. A little frustration right there. They work it around the perimeter, gave it up. There's the trap. I tell you, the jump look so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Puts the ball loose. Applying lots of pressure, Brad. And looking for the steal as well. He fires it up. They let him get into a rhythm. Now they work.
work it around the perimeter. Looking for contact. Great play to take that to the basket. He puts it up. Way off target. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Number five draws the personal. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. Both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. Gets the rejection. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Let's it fly. Off the rim and no good. Shoots from the top of the key. Wow, used the screen perfectly, but the shot didn't go. Up and inside. Set that screen away. Too physical. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. He goes to the line for the first time. First shot, good. Got them both. Moving it around the perimeter. Now the high screen. He's got an open look for the shot. From the top of the circle. Way off target. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing, you get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. On the outside. With a bucket, and off the mark. Looking for a good shot. He rejects it. Step out on that screener. Goes for the deep one. That's an ill-advised shot. I don't think that's the guy you want shooting from the three-point line. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Tries for two, and he missed. They work it around the perimeter. Yeah, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. On the dribble, gives it up. Ten seconds to shoot. Off the rim and no good. They work it around the perimeter. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Got the high pick. Way off target.
They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Great pro hop move to the basket, Brad. I like the way he asserted himself drawing the foul. With the free one. Makes the first shot. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Gets two at the charity strike. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Up and inside. Unloads. Great job of running the defender into the screen, but a nice J. to go. The fake. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He dials long distance. In and out. Blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. With a long bomb. Gave it up. Had a momentary look from three-point land. On the dribble, gives it up. Leans in. Perfectly executed. Let's go up to the booth and review that one. He's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Great double team, really explosive. Got a nice screen. Sinks it. In the paint. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. And the ball goes out of bounds. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. And that what makes college so special, the enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points, they add up at the end, plus you get people into foul trouble. Hits his second. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Brad, if they were smart, they'd go two for one. Takes the pass in the paint for the bucket. 
Great play to take that to the basket. For two, and in and out. Shot clock is dead. They work the perimeter. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Moving it around the perimeter. Unloads a three. Off the rim and no good. Looking for a good shot. From beyond the arc. Way off target. At the end of the first half, the Musketeers are trailing by two. Let's take a look back and watch the play of the half. Xavier carelessly gave away a lot of possessions by turning the ball over. Their coach's staff must be living right now. The amount of extra opportunities they're giving away is just absurd. Dick, you've talked about the pressures of NCAA tournament play, and here it is in the second half, and you know it's building on both these teams. Survive in advance, baby. Be able to move on. Because remember this, if you go to the loser's locker room, you're taking off the uniform for the last time. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He shoots from the angle. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. That wide stance and the drop step. I tell you, it's all about angles, and if you utilize that drop step, it's like a reverse pivot move. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. As the fans chant. It really is something, isn't it? Goes up for two. The land. the catch. Nice execution on the spin. I tell you, great spin move to the basket. He launches the bomb. That's definitely not the shot they were looking for, Dick. Hey, Brad, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside jumpers. They've got to attack inside and then out. Down he goes and no foul call either way. Wow, no call. I can't believe that one. Tries for two. Up and in. Are you kidding me? Show me how he did that. They move it into the front court. circle. Virginia are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and see if they can force a timeout. He goes with a baby hook. In and out. Three. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, right? I wouldn't be surprised if they changed things up a little bit, Brad.
Worked the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He's money with a shot. The power forward receives the ball. Puts up the jumper. Can't connect. For the bucket. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. I'm sorry, Brad, but this young fella seems to be their only hope at the moment. And he'll kick it back outside. Gave it up. Now the turnaround jump. Can't get the shot to go. Beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Outside jumper, off the rim, and no good. On the dribble, gives it up. Nice fake. Jump hook from the low post. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. For the deuce. He's not getting himself in position for the good shot. Yeah, it's a little bit too much. One on one. Number four is called for the defensive foul. First team foul. What a play. These kids are fired up now. And if you're going to celebrate, why not celebrate with a teammate? Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. He goes to the line for the first time. Nothing but nylon, NBN. Makes both of them. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. The shooting guard handles the pass. Way off target. Looking for a good shot. High post screen, gonna use it? I think they're trying to make a statement. And Dick, look at this sellout crowd, and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. Working it around the perimeter. Number 44. It counts, and the senior leader will go to the free throw line. Don't deny him on that play, Brad. That's huge. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper, trying to draw the foul. He shows the sweet touch. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. In the paint. 
Pass down low. There's a drop and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And the ball goes out of play. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. On the outside, shots there if he wants it. For the bucket, he keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. They work it around the perimeter. Jumps into the defender. Number 45 makes the finger roll. And a momentary look from three-point land. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. The ball goes out of play. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing. They bring a lot of spirit. Spacing. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. The defense is taking a beating. Back to the drawing board, baby. Moving it around the perimeter. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. And he'll kick it back outside. From three-point territory. No. They work it around the perimeter. Dump it inside. Takes away the pass. For two. Up and in. The power forward receives the pass. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. Virginia are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. The power forward takes the pass in the paint. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Okay, Dick, some people were predicting this. The players are starting to taunt one another. Gave it up. Looking for a good shot. Double team now, bad angle. The power forward handles the feed. He puts up the tray. Off the rim and no good. Spin moves not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. He shoots from the top of the circle. He drains the shot. They come with a double team to stop it. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing the ball in there. Good fake. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. They work it around the perimeter. 
Goes up for two. Basket falls despite the contact. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. From three point range, he has taken his team completely out of this game. These young guys have to remember to let the game come to you. Don't force the action. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He shoots from the top of the key, drains it. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. With a block. Cross court. Picks off the lazy pass. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, guys, down here on the sidelines, there is such intensity from both benches. Both coaches are emphasizing shot selection and defensive stops. So important here in the second half. All right, thanks, Aaron. <laughs> Hey, he's what I call a skilled post player, Brad. When he's in a low post, he can score in many different ways. Very versatile. Back to the basket, facing up, and also has spin moves as well. They work it around the perimeter. Great defense. Goes up for two. Finger roll. Side. Intercepted. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating to the spot. to the outside they've left him completely alone and now they'll bring it up he shoots from left of the circle too strong he's gonna muscle it on the inside what an explosive move to the goal no wasted time he had his mind made up he was attacking the basket For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. That's a foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. He goes to the line for the first time. Gets the first shot. They're shooting extremely well from the strike tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. Gets them both. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Number 44 with the foul. Third team foul. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Working it around the perimeter. Number five picks up the foul. 
And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Takes the pass in the paint. Puts it up, looking for contact. Here's a double team. Number four grabs it. Looking for a good shot. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. He strips him clean. Dump it inside. Got an open look if he wants it. Jumped in front to take it away. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Rims out. For two. Xavier are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. On the dribble, gives it up. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. On the outside. Ooh, look at the shot block. He got some contact. Nice hops. And the ball goes out of bounds. Those are the types of plays you want a lot of. These kids are on a roll. Look at them celebrating with one another. Hey, can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. Looks at a three. Off the rim and no good. He's got some room. He strokes it. That's good. And that's going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charge. In the paint. There they are on the low block, on the move inside, and the big guy picks up the foul. Hey, Brad, you can't allow a guy to get the ball in that deep, and he does a great job putting it to the deck and attacking the basket. He steps up to the line. Makes the front end of the one-and-one. One. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Hits the second shot. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Goes up for two. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. He gives him the fake. For the bucket. The Musketeers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. That's basic. He shoots from the elbow. He gets it to fall. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. He goes for the trifecta. He comes up empty. On the outside, they'd like to get it inside to the low block. 
unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. See if they've decided to go in another direction with things right here, Dick. It wouldn't kill them to get a little diversity in their play right now. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important than how talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Looking for a good shot. They're working around the perimeter. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Ten on the shot clock. Defense giving some room. Number five wants the fans to get behind him and his team. You know, Brad, he wants the fans back to his defensive possession. Time out on the floor. Aaron Andrews, what do you got for us, EA? Brad and Dick, with limited time remaining, the coaches will have to figure out their offensive and defensive strategies for the next few possessions. What they will discuss or fail to discuss during this timeout could be the difference, guys. Aaron's right about that. Maybe some game plan changes, Dick? You never know what's coming, Brad. One on the shot clock. Looking for a good shot. As many possessions as possible, so keep falling. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. A chance for one and the bonus. Makes the shot. They're shooting extremely well from the strike tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. Gets the second shot. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Gave it up. A little bit of a collision there, but no foul call, Dick. I tell you, good call by the official. Not blowing a whistle. I think it's an excellent call. Moving it around the perimeter. Pressure that basketball. Help one another communicate. Has a nice look at the basket. Up and inside. All right, Dick, this one's over. One team moves on. One team's got to go home, and that's the sad part about the NCAA tournament. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about, and that was the difference in the game. The Cavaliers emerges victorious in this one. I'll tell you, these kids are having a time of their lives as their childhood dreams come to reality. Hey, they're playing the next game in the magical Final Four. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.